on, well, not hands on, but instructional, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, my check ride with him, for no good reason other than he just liked to talk, was like a seven hour ordeal. <laughs> Sounds like Barry. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's an older guy. He just loves chatting, you know, telling stories of, over his career. Yeah. Which is awesome. I could talk to those guys all day. <laughs> Pick their brain about stuff. Yeah. They just know so much, you know. <laughs> Alright. Ah, cool. Alright. So. Alright. Feel should have fell off. He's on. I'm gonna check this real quick while you're in. Okay, we got full range on this guy. Go ahead and jump on in if you'd like. Okay, range here. Okay. Okay, good. Alright, full on. Full off. That'll work. Alright, cool. And action on here. Alright, so landing lights off. And I pulled the clutch circuit breaker, so let's turn the light off. Alright, uh, carb heat is off. The mixture full rich, mixture guards installed, and I'm assuming you don't have a primer installed. Nope. Uh, we'll check the altimeter setting in a little bit. Rotor brake is disengaged. Alright, so give it about two primes. Yeah, that should work. I just flew it, so... One, two, and then all the way off. Alright, so you got your seatbelt on. Yep. Alright, so master strobe. Clear right. Clear. Cool. So, then we're going to do ignition, starter, oil pressure, clutch alternator, and then timer. Good deal. Oh, almost. Torm. 
arm up. Cool. Make sure that we get a deflection there. Uh, listen to our ATIS. No, it is actually uh, 12055. Oh, okay. So you, you can flip the bomb one up. It's the easiest way to do it, I found. Bomb one, alright. Altimeter 3030. Visual approaching use, landing and departing runway 32. Hazardous weather, air mids, tango in effect for California coastal waters. More information available Go. on flight service frequencies. Line and hold short operations in effect for runway 2. Advise on initial contact. You have information golf. Golf. Going golf. Center of the tower. Information golf. 2353 Zulu observation. Swing calm. Visibility 10. Chilling 20,000 broken. Temperature 132.3. Altimeter 3030. Three. Approaching use. Landing and departing runway 3. Alright, so 13. Yet, uh, we're at like, what, 200 feet? Yeah, we're about a hundred. Okay, so call it two two four and two three three. Yep, sounds good to me. All right. Uh, cool. So let's check our magnet. Five. All right. So that magneto. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Good. From the center of the tower, make left traffic on Ray 32, report midfield. Left traffic 32, report midfield. Alright, right, Magneto. Tower, center of the tower, 1 1000, 2 1000. 3 miles. Good. 432. Alright, and then bring it up toward 80 and split the needles. Ray 32, clear touch and go, and did you want to stay in the pattern for touch and goes or depart their space? Uh, clear for touch and goes, and I'd like to be in the split. Terminal manager, right. Roger, left traffic on the go. So, cool. So, it looks good, we're in the green. Lights are out. Alrighty. Got golf, so... Doors are closed and latched. Check the power. Take the frictions off, roll it up, test the horn, and, uh... Ready to go. Good. Alright. Then with Star Helicopter Zero, Luna Alpha, one to the north. Alrighty. Zero Liam Alpha landing at Sonoma Jet, I'll be at Pod Center, Squing Calm. Bring it to Landing at Sonoma Jet Center, add on rest, Zero Liam Alpha. Alright, I'd like to raise just a little bit and then roll down to see it at seven. Yep. Funny, some people like are really religious about it. They're like, oh, no, you're supposed to roll down and then raise up. <laughs> oh. Yeah, everyone's got their own way. Yeah. Right. I've always just raised and bolt. Yeah. There we go. Oh, all right, so frictions are off, confirm that. We're ready to pick up, so uh, we'll do a two stage or so, 17 eyes outside and then correct any movements and bring it up. Sounds like a plan to me. All right. This one picks up a little weird. Yeah, Santa Rosa Tower, helicopter zero, Lima, Alpha. Uh, ramp's looking pretty full over here at Sonoma Jet Center. One able, uh, hold it in front of the tower here, like to cross 3 2, and uh, go for the gun club. Alright. Helicopter zero, Lima, Alpha, for death request, landing at Pilot Center, cross 3 3 2. Cross 3 2 for the gun club. Zero, Lima, Alpha. For the gun club. Is that that? <laughs> oh, is that MD 500? Uh, 600. Wow. Yeah, Brim Aviation. They're doing a lot of pg &E work. Cool, you cool. want to do the radio to get us out of here? Yeah, yeah, I can do it. We had Golf. Yep. Santa Rosa Tower, Cupture 7810, Tower, Helico Ramp, Cushion Departure to the north of Golf. Helicopter 7810, Santa Rosa Tower, Departure, Pilots on Risk, Northbound Departure, Purdue and Come. Out on Risk for Helicopter 7810. Alright, so just on uh, Alpha that. here. Yep, and then, yeah, three twos in use. I like to keep it. There's like a million helicopters in this whole area, so we all just kind of go in the direction of yeah, run, 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 run,
Touch. We're all clear this way. Clear left. So just straight out here? Yep, let's go straight down the taxiway and then you'll see here up on the right is the airline box. Yeah. So just don't overfly yeah, that, no, you'll be alright. Alright, there's okay. ETO. Alright. Maybe a touch of carbine for me if you don't mind. Yep. Gotcha there. Alright. So, so that's the right. airline box, that red line. You can't uh -huh. fly over that, so. Oh, okay. When you're coming in and out, just keep that in mind. Gotcha. Alright. They are birds. Gauges are good. Cool. And then from here. I, I like to stay below like 800, climb to like 800 until we get past the freeway out here. Okay. Uh, the planes will fly at like 11, 1200, so, and they don't care about anybody. And we'll just pop over the hill over here. Okay. If you hold like a north on your compass, it'll take you right over. Boom, so get your bearings. It's pretty easy, but Coral One's right here. We'll pass right over that. Okay. Fieldsburg is up there. Just basically straight to the left. Cloverdale's a little bit farther up. So we'll uh hop over the hill here. You'll you'll see the river. We'll pick that river up, follow it to the north. Okay. And then we'll we will find a spot, a little confined area on the river. Do that. Hop All up right. to Cloverdale. <laughs> go from there. Cool. And we'll go skids down. It's down. I get a band name. Skids down. <laughs> 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 that is pretty funny. <laughs> Good. And then too, if we're trains, or if we're going like northwest or southeast, uh, normally we'll just, just like, I don't know how you guys do it down there, but if you're following highways, we'll go on the right side and the left yeah. side. So. How's the tower here? Are they pretty responsive or uh, kind of yeah. let you do whatever once you get out off the airport? Yeah, they're they're pretty great. Even on the airport, we kind of just they give us. So we have three two and two and two zero. Pretty much, if we'll do patterns and stuff, we'll use two and two zero. They just kind of let us do our thing over there. All the other airplanes will use three two and one four. So they're pretty cool about it. Did, say, did you say below eight hundred? But yeah, you're good now. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll probably have to climb like 12, 1300 to get over these hills here. Okay. You guys do uh, much pattern work here at Santa Rosa, or do you guys just go on to one of these bus airports? Um, it kind of depends. Depends on the day, depends on what we're doing. But we, we seem to go to Cloverdale a lot. It's a little bit of a jaunt up there, but that's really, there's really nobody up there. You don't really have to worry about noise. Healdsburg, we don't really, you can do three patterns there. But we'll stay in the pattern quite a bit too, just save some time, save that very time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down to go to Cloverdale. Maybe a touch and go at Hillsburg just to get in the logbook. Okay. Real quick. Yeah. Let's, uh, well, we can hit that on, the, that on the way back. Okay. We'll go to Cloverdale first, and then we'll back the other valley at Hillsburg. So. Man, California is a beautiful place. <laughs> it is, especially this time of year when it's all green. Yeah. Might be sick of it, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. You'll see the river. It kind of horseshoes right around over here. Okay, so I can start banking left here? Yeah. How do you like the R-22? I do like it. I mean, you can really fly this thing. You know, it, it can take a lot. Number two, following the Grumman, which was in sight, I lost him, but I'll find him. Like I'd like to pick this full stop. Like a little B. I just gotta cruise around. Okay, got the Grumman, and number two, clear to land. Nine two eight zero. The 44 is a little nicer, though. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not running out of power. I would rather Very fly something else, but the 22 isn't bad. What else have you flown? Uh, 44, quite a bit. And then uh, 206, the Jet Ranger, the Long Ranger. I flew a 505. I have like oh, six cool. hours in that. <laughs> and a uh, 407. I have about eight hours in 407. Cool. Yeah, I've, I guess it, I have close to 100 in this and then 40 something in the 44 and um, uh, about 
six or seven in a Cabri G2. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I've never flown one of those. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, to be honest, like, I think my takeaway is after flying it, I kind of prefer the Robinson. Really? Yeah, it's huh. it's more fun to fly. Um, Interesting. But, you know, it, the irony I feel is that um, the Cabri is probably better suited for a private pilot who just sticks around for fun and is you know needs that extra buffer, right? Uh, okay. Uh, for the with the rotor inertia, it's a beautiful aircraft. But in terms of like pure flying experience, uh, I went down to LA to check it out and I was flying Robinsons in between, and like you know I couldn't lie to myself like this was more enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> I think part of the problem was that. Uh, the, uh, the gimbal didn't have hydraulics, but it had all that inertia, so it just felt really uh, stiff. Like, the collective was really stiff, the um, back lake was really stiff. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, it, it felt like a battle, like I was genuinely, genuinely sore. Huh. But the clockwise disc actually was, like I was able to hover instantaneously, I didn't, you know. Struggle with it. Didn't think about the pedals or anything too much. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it definitely messed with my mind, but um, I was in more control of the aircraft than I thought, you know. I thought I was just yeah. going to be like spinning yeah. in the circles. This is the river you're talking about? Yeah, so this is the river. We'll keep following it to the north. Uh, we're out of the airspace now, so we'll switch over to Healdsburg, which is 122.8 down there. But then it's just. Uh, golf airspace, so. Cool. Healdsburg, the airport is right over there. You can kind of see the Kenhardt Sea from here, but we're about seven miles east of it right now. Oh, maybe okay. six. Cloverdale is at the very top, right at the, kind of like the base of those hills where it starts going up a little okay. bit before that, so. We'll, uh, we'll just keep following this north. Normally we'll just uh, make position reports to Healdsburg and Cloverdale. We're going up, just untowered. Cool. Um, you said there's not too much traffic up here? Uh, it can get busy, for sure. There's a lot. There's a lot of planes. There's a flight school out of Healdsburg. And there's actually a couple of flight schools out of Santa Rosa too. So we're all just kind of all over the place. So a lot of helicopters in the area too. I guess a lot of search and rescue, and utility, all that jazz. Fire. Yeah. Definitely not as busy as the Bay Area, though, so yeah. you should be all right. <laughs> busy to me is probably a little bit different. Busy to you. It did most of, I would say, like, oh, it's kind of tough to say, actually. I, I did my initial training out of Watsonville, which was pretty nice, you know, uncontrolled, so, you know, you're not too stressed about talking to radio. Just you know, yeah. pissing other people off, probably, but... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, maybe at, like, hour 25, once I started checking off the private requirements. I, they opened up the shop in Hayward. And, uh, one of my favorite CFIs went up there. Uh, okay. So I started flying there and yeah, it's a super invaluable experience, you know, NorCal and all the different uh, transitions. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I did my, all of my training in Arizona. It was just a little delta. There was nothing around. But yeah. <laughs> going down there is like a different world. <laughs> it was really good. Now I'm comfortable with it now. But when I first got here, it was like an eye opener. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty fun. Do you fly through the Bay Area much? Um. Uh, yeah, we'll do photo flights and stuff down there. Charters. Pick a lot of people up from SFO. But I've actually never been down there in this thing. Only the 44 or the 206. Okay. Kind of need that speed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've done quite a few photo flights down there now. Those are always fun. All right. I like to a good spot. So the river, where? Rolling. Yeah, they're taking off. There's a skydive place in Cloverdale. No, it's got okay. traffic. Whitey Cat lines over Shellville, 1500. Left traffic, 26. Let me see. Skyport. They said wind calm, and I don't see any indication of there. Yeah, it's, it's pretty calm. So I think we'll have our pick of approach, but I'm assuming you probably have a standard approach path here. Yeah, it's pretty much just up the river or down the river. The winds are generally either out of the north or out of the south, too, so it helps. 
but a lot of good wind indications. We can actually come down to like a thousand feet. All right. We're gonna see a little bit better. Full car feet. Yeah, a lot of good wind indications, a lot of water through here. Also the wineries. Basically all of them either have a flag or a windsock. Yeah, nice. So it's, it's super helpful. Why do they have windsocks? Is it, uh... I don't, I don't know. Like that one, that winery there on the northeast corner, there's a flag and a windsock. Huh. That was kind of weird. Maybe they have a helicopter. Yeah, I don't know. But weird. Couple sets of power lines across the river. There's, okay. uh, there's two marked ones right here. Yeah. Uh, this one, and then I think we passed one. We're talking. This one, one behind us, they're both marked. There's one farther south along the river that's not marked. I forgot to show you that, but I'll show that eventually. We don't really land down there at all anyway, so. Um, and there's another set up here close to the bridge. Then after that, you're okay. Traffic helicopter 71 to 1,000 feet northwest bound over the river. We're about four miles to your northeast. At 1,000. Yeah, that'll be good for now. So past the bridge. I always forget about the trim. Oh, yeah. If you fly with the trim on, that's I always just always forget about it. I so. always forget. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's. Well, I guess they this set is marked too, by the rip next to the bridge. So power line. Oh yeah, I see it down there. And we kind of have spots that we go to normally, so kind of get to know the area. Yeah. It definitely seems like a nice spot for off airports. Yeah, we can use pretty much the river all the way up through here and then up in the hills there. Uh, some of that is private land, so you have to be careful. Some of it's Napa County, if you're way over by like Angwin. Uh -huh. Can't land off airport in Napa, so. Uh, those hills and then these hills up here. Look at that car down there, is that always there? Yeah. Okay. There's a couple of abandoned cars down there. No one knows why. Alright, so, if it's still here, I believe, straight ahead of us, there's an island, right in the middle of the water. There's an airplane up there, and no factor. Alright, there's this island, so island hopping. <laughs> uh, actually, let's go up, we'll go up to the next one. It's starting to change now with how, with the rain we've got, get more water, so our spots disappear in the winter. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's always changing, so you kind of have to go on the fly. Looks like that has changed, too. So there's one, it's around the corner. Underwater now. Yep, underwater. Wow. <laughs> well, uh, that one over there. Oh, I yeah. guess there's a bunch of spots we could choose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that spot used to be pretty cool. It was a little confined area with a little island. Uh, let me know where you see our buddy with the broken leg and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go. Or do you know, do a little power check. So I bring it down to 65 knots. Cool. 
level. So yeah, we're gonna have plenty of power actually. Right. But yeah, that should be good. 16 or 8 is right here. How little of an island do you want? Well, I guess I'm gonna be close to that house. Cloverdale traffic helicopter, 71 Shield Tell, about four to the southeast, northwest bound over the river, 1,000 feet from Cloverdale. And all of our spots are gone. Wow, it's crazy. All right, so we can just pick a spot. Uh, you can go pretty much anywhere. Go like, like a little hill right there. Looks like, huh? Yeah. Should we pick this one? Yeah, sure. Okay. Anywhere there's good. Cool. So, checked our power. So, don't have any wind or wires. It looks like. Actually, I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit so we can do circles here. All right. Uh, so, doesn't look like we got any wind or wires here. So we'll do our high recon first. Got a log right in the middle, looks like. So we're looking at obstacles. You can easily kind of dodge that. Got a lot of gravel down there. Alright, so then, uh. Turbulence is pretty stable. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about any bumps, but. Our 360 here. Force landings, though. We got plenty of spots so if we need a bail that we can put this down. We some wires down there actually. Got that crossing the river. And so. Uh, little power line down there. Yeah. I think oh, it looks like the it ground right there. Yeah, I, I think, think it goes that way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Um, entry and exit. I think we're just going to come straight up the river and go straight out the river. Cool. So this will be our down one leg right here. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Landing zone, we'll try to see if we can pick a pinnacle down there, or a little peak, but looks like we're going to have a lot of different spots to put it down. Cool. So I think that's a good spot right there, so make another pass here. Maybe bring us down a little bit. Go full carb heat. I'm guessing this is about two, three hundred feet, so bring us down to like uh, seven, eight hundred. Lower recon. There we got this power line. Seems like a lot of power lines or lines just kind of going all over the place, huh? Yeah. But I can't tell if they're crossing the water. I don't. Yeah, I think those. Believe those just did, but yeah, it looks like it. I don't see lines over the water. Don't trust me. That's the important part because that's how we're going to make our approach. See, so you see the lines like this, but kind of stop at these boxes here, whatever these boxes are. Yeah, they go to the ground. That one does go that way too. So. Not overfly this guy's house, but. Alright, so we got our spot picked out, so I'm going to make a longer down and extended downwind here and then turn it around. Bring it in. So lights are out, gauges are green. Our beat's good, a pull it full since we're on our downwind now. We have some wires here, no factor. Maybe uh, right down there, I'll turn it around and start to make our approach in. That was a plan. I guess it actually is a little bit higher than 300. We'll follow this bend right here. I know Cloverdale, Cloverdale and Hillsburg are both around 300, so. Alright. Got a house right there, so. I can cheat a little bit over here so I don't overfly them. Alright, so. Clear right? Yep. That's okay. Alright, gonna have a nice. Bit of approach path here. All right. I'm gonna follow the river and then just kind of go in this way. Sounds like a plan to me. 
All right, and I'll start to slow us down a bit. Just crawl there. A little bit shallow, but okay. Yeah, slow down a little. It's a little bit. safer too, right? So. Don't have that big of a confined area coming in, so. Seems like a nice approach right here. So we got that tree a little bit to the right of the nose, so I think I'm going to cheat a little bit to the right here. So we just have to be careful of these trees right here. Like maybe I'll kind of go in a little bit crooked here. All right, so we're well clear of the settling. We're above 300. We're still above ETL here. All right, so maybe. The nose forward as we go below ETL. Maybe just uh, right here and all this crap. So we're just gonna be careful for rocks, pulling in the power, keeping our nose forward. So we want to set it down maybe right about here. Looks clear behind. Yeah. A lot of these rocks. All right. So let's put it down nice and gentle. Particularly gentle now that we got all these rocks. Might be a slight slope too, so. All right. Sit down. All right, nice. so it might rock a little bit, so let me just rock it, make sure we're settled. Bring that collective all the way down, bring it centered. All right. Sweet. Nice approach. Thank you. All right, so skid's clear, right? What is that? Birds up there? Dude, what is that? That looks like smoke, huh? Or maybe it's birds. Oh, the other day I saw something like that. It looked like a bunch of birds. <laughs> oh, there's some more up there. Oh yeah, wow. Just watch out when you're taking off. Oh. I lost them now. Yeah, it looks like almost smoke, huh? Weird. Alright, so... Reduce the car heat a little bit. We're gonna need some power to get out of here. Alright, so lights are out, gauges are green, we got fuel. Alright, so... I'm gonna Bring the disc to level, and be very careful here. Dynamic rollover is something we have in mind. Because all these rocks, is your skid clear, by the way? Yep, my skid's clear. Yeah, a lot of, whoa. There they are. <laughs> Got a plane right up there, there's a hawk coming, all right. Gauges are green. Our beats dropping, but it's okay. So let's just slowly start to move it out here. And we'll go. Oh shit! Yeah, I man. think those are birds. So I should chill for a second, let it pass. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they'll pass. Are they kind of lingering there, huh? Yeah. I don't, oh, there they are. I think if we book it right. Yeah. That's crazy, man. There's a lot of freaking birds. There's ETL. So the traffic helicopter, uh, 400 Echo Echo. Yeah, so there's 
skydivers do be coming here soon <laughs> all right he's normally pretty good at everybody know though so so typically or for fixed wing it's a uh, right traffic here yeah if we go right traffic we get noise complaints 
but we just try to keep it over the, the highway. Nice. Cool. All right. Looking good. Good approach. Speed is good. Yeah, just keep it on these. That would have been good at any other airport, but just uh -huh. keep it a little higher on final. Okay. Just because people are stupid. So. Yeah. Uh, great. All right. So let's target is agree. Cliverdale traffic helicopter seven eight one Sarah Hotel on the go three two left traffic Cliverdale. Nice. I'll do an auto. Yeah, let's do an auto. Right. Where do you like to do your autos at? Without or yeah, yeah. If we go, what if we're like a thousand, eleven hundred? We're like seven or eight hundred feet off the ground, which is good. What do you guys normally do it at? I don't uh, want to change too much from what you <laughs> learned, since you're so close to commercial. So yeah, about a thousand AGL just for your okay. extra buffer. All right, so it's been a while since I've done auto, so down right aft, and then you're looking to check up so you don't overspeed the rotor. Once you get that under control, then uh, you're making, making sure to hit 60, 70, and uh, keep it in the green and for the, the rotor. 97, the horn comes on. You really got to about 90, uh, you know, to play with, depending on where you go. Cliverdale traffic, you got to be in two minutes, 12,000 for Cliverdale. Two minutes, two minutes. Cliverdale traffic, helicopter one, Sierra Hotel, left, crosswind three, two, Cliverdale. Yep. Cool Just on that. remember making nice, nice and smooth, fly the thing. Yeah, the one thing that I always do is I flare a little bit high, like the, the ground is always a little bit further than I think. Yeah. Uh, so that's one tendency I have, but Start the flare with collective back, and uh, the horn always tends to go off around then, so it'll always tend to go off again in the, uh, the flare. Yeah, you, the, is that how you guys practice? Get it low and then build it? Uh, it tends, whenever I do these, it tends to go off on the flare, and then like once I flare, it comes back, the light goes off again. Okay. Uh, so we try to keep it right at the bottom of the green the whole time. Okay. Uh, don't like to have the horn going off that low to the ground. <laughs> but sure. Uh, if that's the way you've learned and it's safe, then oh, it's fine. I mean, okay. part of the great thing about flying with somebody new is <laughs> yeah, there any different ways, right? <laughs> so. Yeah. So that's why I've always done it. That's the way we always do it here. So. Uh, cool. So we're about our altitude right about here, right? Yeah. This is good. Twelve hundred feet. We're about Might almost a thousand. Cliverdale traffic helicopter one Sierra Hotel left downwind three two Cliverdale. Cool. All right. So we're traffic helicopter zero I five four left full transient. I think one three is southeast real quick. Okay, one three so he's healed Yeah. Uh, cool. So then on the flare, I'll turn the throttle on, bring it up to eighty, let the governor take over, and then uh, forward and raise collective. Keep that nose forward and level yeah. the ship. Our recovery. Yep. All right, so, so I'll go out a little bit wide, maybe around this lake here, just so I can set myself up. Yeah, and you can go anywhere, pick a spot next to the windsock, taxiways, whatever. Okay. These first couple don't be too <laughs> concerned about hitting the spot, but okay, go so for something. Looks like our wind's still not doing much, so. Cliverdale traffic helicopter, one Sierra Hotel, left base to final three two, Cliverdale. Alright, so collective a little bit, let's bring that speed down a little. Don't wanna descend. Oh shit, there's the skydivers. Oh, there they are. Are we uh, good, or uh, what do you let's want to do? Let's <laughs> do, yeah, let's do a left-hand turn. We'll let them get on the ground. 
Cloverdale traffic helicopter one Sierra Hotel doing a left 360 for spacing with the skydivers. Cloverdale. Give them plenty of time to come down. Uh, that that little pond up there, the winery we work with. And Cloverdale Blue traffic, Rock. Cessna 20230 is about uh, 10 miles to the south. Uh, what's the active runway there for Cloverdale? 32 at Cloverdale. And then they look. Oh, they're still coming down, huh? Uh, there's one more. That guy's on a high right downwind for two. That's not where he say he was, north or south? He was 10 to the south. Okay. We look about good here, what do you think? Yeah, we should be good. All right. Cloverdale traffic helicopter one Sierra Hotel, final for 3-2, Cloverdale. All right, so slow us down a little bit. Cloverdale traffic, got one turning a three mile right there. Three, two, What? what? Three mile right base. Oh, that was it? Yeah. Alright. Makes me feel a little better. Alright. Alright, about. Here we're below 70. Man, I'm terrible with judging the distance here, so I'm gonna go for that, the same spot we chose last time. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh... Alright, so. I'm terrible at judging this, but I think we're right about <laughs> here, so. Three, two, one. Down right aft. There we go. Roll that off. Collect the thing. There we go. Yeah, check it up. <laughs> Bring it down. So we're good right about here. So we'll be a little short of the spot, so. Bring that down. Okay, check it up a little. Over the traffic, it's kind of on the two miles. Yeah, we're going to come up short, so I'm just going to do a go around. Yeah, you're good. Cloverdale traffic, helicopter, uh, one Sierra Hotel, doing a go around 3 2, left traffic, Cloverdale. Cool, good entry. Just make it nice and smooth <laughs> on, the, on the collective. Yeah. Uh, good on the right back. Got okay. birds there. Bird. Yeah, I didn't get that collective down all the way, uh, but then I let it creep up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, so make sure you get the other down off the throttle. You did, when you rolled the throttle off, the collective was all the way down, so. Uh, oop, then on the entry, the nose popped up a little bit, which made the RPMs go up a little bit higher. Yeah. All right. Not bad. Yep, just a little short. Cloverdale traffic helicopter, one Sierra Hotel, turning left, crosswind 32, Cloverdale. Let's get one more auto in here, and then we'll start, we'll cruise, start cruising back. Sounds good. Came up well short. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I'm terrible at judging distance. So we could do to to judge the spot, pick something on the windscreen. Uh huh. So I don't know. Do you use a, something like a point on the windscreen for your normal approaches? Um, I usually just fixate kind of, on. Just kind of feel it out. <laughs> yeah. And keep it over the highway here. Huh? Yeah, that's one thing that I've never gotten good at is like finding that point on the windscreen where. I feel good. Yeah, so it's, it's weird because it's, it's obviously like something on the here is not right over your spot, so you kind of have to draw this little imaginary line. Yeah. And just try to keep it over the highway if you can. Go left. Oh, my bad. I think I put that somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we just try to keep it over the highway so we're not over the house. Yeah, it makes total sense. And it's kind of on clear at Cloverdale. Clear at Cloverdale. Oh, uh, he's on the ground. Oh, yep. Yeah, he's just on the taxiway now. Is that the skydiver or the Cessna that we... That was the skydive guy. Cessna, uh, he has made a call since your right. last call, so... Cliverdale traffic, helicopter one, Sierra Hotel, left downwind, 3-2, Cliverdale.
And once you kind of find that spot, it's almost like a normal approach angle today with the calm winds too. Yeah. On this next one, I'll I'll point out a spot on the windscreen. Okay. Climb just a little bit more. Go around that lake there, the pond, I guess. Yeah, you're you're good. You're plenty of good, dude. Okay, I would turn now. Cliverdale traffic helicopter one Sierra Tell turning left base to final three two Cliverdale. Got plenty of room in there. All right, so lights are out, gauges are green. Pulled the carpet already, so go. All right, let's get it. Reduce the collective a little bit, so slow down. I have to correct our overshoot here. Yo, it's the C2 because the highway feels like that. Yeah. yeah. Weird. Okay, slow us down a little. Alright, so we got our 70 knots here. Cool stuff. I'll tell you when I think I would enter. We'll, okay. see. we'll see what happens. <laughs> Alright. No guarantees on my to, judgment to call judge either. <laughs> I'm wrong. I did. That was. It was just a fluke, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So everything looks good. We're at over 65. We're at a thousand this time. We're at 1100. I think last time when we entered. So a little bit lower too. Yeah. Another, another little key to keep in mind. So for this spot, I normally go like trim strings. So I'd probably go like right about here. At three, two, one, down right aft. Start off. Pick it up. That throttle off. Oh, hold that throttle off. There you go. Hey, yeah, this looks good. I feel it's a touch a short, but solid RPMs, airspeed's perfect. So just leave it right there. Just ride it out. All right. Now a little bit. Maybe right about here. Start a flare. And Cloverdale traffic. Off. Cessna 20230. On a 45 entry to a right downwind runway 32. Oh, a little downwind. bit short. Yeah. All right, good stuff. I felt like I leveled out maybe a little too fast, but. Yeah, uh, I normally flare a little bit harder. Yeah. Build the rotor RPM up on top of the right. guy over there. I don't know. Oh, I see him. Yeah, he's entering at the 45. Okay. There we got, oh, we only got four more birds right there. Uh, you know, go do a left downward departure. Cliverdale traffic helicopter one Sierra Hotel on the go three two for a left downwind departure, and we have the aircraft entering at the right forty five in sight. No factor. Cliverdale. And Cloverdale traffic two three zero is turning right downwind three two Cloverdale. There we go. Cool. And then I think. And 230 has the helicopter inside. Alright. So we got our knots. Is there another guy over there, too? Oh, yeah, it looks like it's a big guy, though. I think he's transitioning. Oh, uh, okay. Alright. So I think, too, on, on, the, on your flare, you didn't move the. It was all cyclic flare. It uh -huh. wasn't too much collective. Which might have been why you were getting the low RPM horn at the very bottom there. You're raising the collective a little bit. Uh -huh. So just a little bit of down on the collective, back on the cyclic to build that rotor RPM. Okay. And that'll uh, say that one more time. I said okay blindly. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> down on the collective and back on the cyclic. Down collective, back on the cyclic. Okay. So and yeah, keep that, keep those RPMs up. Uh. Yeah, because you want it. Obviously not oversped, but. You yeah. want it to build a little bit, you know, like 104, 106, something like that. Want to be above 104, 106, 108-ish, just under that red line. Yeah, that one felt survivable. Yeah, that was good, dude. That <laughs> the whole entry was good. RPMs were bottom of the green. Airspeed was perfect, 65. So. Yeah, I think on the bottom there, flare a little bit more. Uh, keep that collective down through the flare, and then. Um, yeah, I started to level a little bit too hot, I felt like. Yeah, that yeah, was good. Yeah, I think I could have put skids down if I had to, just a little bit faster than ideal, probably. Yeah. 
All right, do you have the guy in the pattern? Down there. You know, final? Yep, sure. Oh, final yeah, there. okay. That is a big guy way up there. Cool, and let's, uh, we'll cruise back over the hill here. All right, where's uh, our... There's a little road that goes... <laughs> I pull a full car beat, thinking <laughs> we're... <laughs> we're... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. What are we doing on field cat? On the ox, about half on the main. Yeah, we'll see what we'll see what it's like when we get to Hillsburg. We'll definitely fly over Hillsburg, but we might not have time or be able to do an approach. Okay. So how these valleys work? This is Alexander Valley. This is Dry Creek Valley. Okay. People use that as a kind of reporting points too. The rivers that over there. Uh, Lake Sonoma, you'll see, is to the right up there. Okay. I didn't know there was a Lake Sonoma. Yeah, it's pretty big, actually. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool lake. Dry Creek Valley, and then Healdsburg is at the bottom of Dry Creek Valley. You'll see the airport, or probably five miles north west of it right now. How was my uh, entry height on that one, the flare height? Oh, uh, good. Yeah, I thought that was perfect. Cool. Yeah, that's right where I would have entered. Yeah, judge the spot. See somebody down there? No, it was just one nine or zero three. Oh, okay. that's what he said for the win. They don't have ATIS, but they have a uh, wind advisory. They do have a, they have a little AWOS. If you click the bike three times, it'll bring up like for Healdsburg, not for Cloverdale. Okay. Healdsburg traffic, uh, not about a helicopter, reach by 1A, is the name of the field to the uh, east, about three miles. There's a weird old house down there. What's going on? 200. <laughs> that's the one in, like, in the hill. Yeah, it's like, it's like a fortress, kind of. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of crazy houses throughout here. It's not my lady. It's a nice place, man. I wish we came up here more often just to hang out and chill. Yeah. This is where all the wineries are too, in Dry Creek. Make a weekend out of it. Yeah. Nice and relaxed up here. Not the, the city life you're used to. Yeah. Well, I guess you're farther south of the city, right? Uh, just right directly in the city. You are in the city. Mac to have, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's nice to get out of the city. I, I love San Francisco, don't get me wrong, but... We actually stayed in Cloverdale a year or two ago, and oh, nice. it was just super relaxed, man, super nice. <laughs> I think this time of year, too, we got a place with a hot tub. And oh, yeah, be nice. So, Healdsburg is, uh, hard to explain. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to, like, look at east on your compass, it'd point you right to it. You can kind of see the, the runway. You'll see it. Okay. It's right to the left of those big, that little, little mound. mini hills there. Yeah. So the wind was one nine zero. Yeah. Is it one zero five five seven. One two five. Let's make it two years ago. Yeah, we'll just overfly it. Okay. We can go direct back, man. I don't mind. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking. Which way is uh, Sonoma? Just straight. Okay. Yeah, that's why we'll fly right by it. So you'll you'll see the 101 here in a couple seconds. Then Rose is way out there. That, you can see the runway from here. The the brown, really brown. There's see like, like a, a bunch light. of white stuff, kind of. Oh, the red light. Okay. Like way, like straight ahead of us, basically. Yeah. yeah that's Santa Rosa. Airport. Fieldsburg, you can kind of see a little better now. I see that's it. I guess it's 3-1, uh, right? So it's, I guess that, that must be right there. Yep, yeah. yep, 1-3 and 3-1. Watsonville so. traffic, beach, 8 4 Sierra, hey, five miles to the west over the shoreline. Yeah. Over five the field, 3,700 feet down. Watsonville? Yeah. yeah we'll, we'll pick up Watsonville, Half Moon Bay. That's pretty funny. That's wild. Yeah. Holy cow. 
So Hildeberg, uh the approach to one threes is weird here. Uh -huh. There's a guy, another guy that calls and complains. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you have to say. There's right. a guy. It's like yeah. <laughs> so he lives in that brown house right on the approach to one three. Yeah. Yeah. So if you were to do a straight in approach, you fly right over his house. So we kind of go over the. There's like olive trees right there. And yeah. Just come at an angle and then level out. Cool, man. Like, who buys a house next to an airport expects it to be quiet? <laughs> and then complains. <laughs> yeah. So these guys complain. We can only do three patterns here. And then there's people at the airport. There's a little community on the on the west side of the airport that a guy has come in a couple times to the office. He's a nice guy, but he just complains about us flying over his house. Yeah. What do you want us to do? I mean, I get it, man. Nobody wants planes flying over the house, but I feel like yeah. if you own a house next to the airport, yeah. it just comes with the territory. Alright, should we pick up Adis for uh, Santa Rosa? Yeah. Com 1? Yeah. Let's do this. over huh yeah we're still about 10 miles so. I always make my radio call so downtown Healdsburg is right up here uh -huh. you'll see downtown kind of where the road curves right there uh -huh. the 101 that's about seven miles so that's where I normally make my call you say downtown Healdsburg inbound yeah I just say seven miles northwest I right at about that bend you yeah, then they'll just tell us to basically follow the freeway back in. Okay. We'll probably say report Walmart. <laughs> I'll show you Walmart too. All right. They go by Santa Rosa up here? Not yeah. Sonoma or Charles Schultz. <laughs> nope, Santa Rosa Tower. Bound for? Uh, the Helico ramp. And I guess just say hey, negative. Call here. Hotel. Zero zero five call. Easy little observation. Hotel. Wind to calm. Visibility unrestricted. Sky clear below one two thousand. Temperature one two zero point four. Runway three zero three zero. Three zero. Three three zero. zero. Same direction of flight. Visual approaching you. Flying at parting uh, runway three two. Take off. Uh, maybe headed. Uh, Alright. Yeah. Hotel. Out east. Uh, towards. Right. Uh, uh, so downtown is right, we're basically right next to us right now. The traffic circle is. Uh, you're still, you're probably six Power miles right here. Go. How many? Please just kind of. So it's a seven one golf. Keep doing what you're doing. High density altitude. High density altitude, seven one golf. High density altitude. We are at 3,200. <laughs> Santa Rosa Tower, helicopter 781 Sierra Hotel is over downtown Hillsburg at 1,000, inbound for helico ramp. Just the 7-1 Golf, enter left base, runway 32, report 3 miles. Left base, runway 32, uh, report 3 miles. 7-1 Golf. Helicopter 71 Sierra Hotel, Santa Rosa Tower, report Walmart. Reporting Walmart. Uh, helicopter 71 Sierra Hotel. Called it. <laughs> so 
the wall part is basically <laughs> the biggest thing in the area. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest thing in any area. Yeah. <laughs> so if you just follow the highway, you'll see a Walmart. It's on the left of the highway. Like a Walmart and Home Depot are directly east of the airport. Doing all right on fuel. I don't like the land below a quarter in the main. Yeah, probably gonna be right on time. Yeah, I think we're good. I know you can go below it, <laughs> but I don't like to. <laughs> One time with the CFI, I landed, and like 10 seconds after I put it down, you know, I was doing private check ride prep, and so I put it down, and 10 seconds later, the uh, Fuel light came on and I looked at him and was like, are you fucking with me? Like, did you pull the brake or oh. something? He's like, nope. <laughs> oh. uh. That was good. <laughs> good timing. <laughs> yeah. That's always scary. I hate stressing about fuel. Yeah. It's like so, oh man. Imagine your engine quitting because you ran out of gas. It'd be so embarrassing. <laughs> okay, okay. You just, just pull my airman certificate at that point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, let me see if I can guess Walmart. Uh, get that one at the white top over there? It's on the left side of the highway. Oh, okay. So across from that one, I think you're pointing at. I was pointing to the right, but I I guess maybe that clearing to the left. Yeah. You'll see Home Depot, Walmart will be coming on the back side of it, so you won't be able to see the name, but... That's that building. Well, you got your bearings of the area. Yeah, this was cool, man. I mean, it's gorgeous up here. I've never seen it from here, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. I've always wanted to fly up here, but like I told Alec, uh, you know, I would need to refuel to come up here, and I just don't want to bother. Yeah. <laughs> so I never come up here. The 44 wouldn't be bad, but the 22 would be quite the trip. Yeah. What does it take to get checked out up here to rent an aircraft? Um... I mean, if you do the private, probably fly with Alec a couple times in the 44, or an hour or whatever in the 44, just to show you can do an auto safely. Cool. Yeah, 44, it's a piece of cake. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, there's no requirement for our insurance. There's no, it's just whoever says Alec says. Okay. Frequency change crew, Oakland Center's on 127.8, 278. Have a good flight. 127. Does Alec instruct too? Yep. Yeah, he's trying to back out of the instruction. Leave it to us, but he still has some students. Yeah, I guess he's busy otherwise, as you said, huh? Yeah, he's got paperwork and FAA to go with. That's the Walmart right there? Yep, so Home Depot's there, Walmart's the one we're gonna fly right over, so. Okay. Were you up here during the wildfires? Yeah, man, that was nuts. I actually <laughs> stayed at the airport. Wow. <laughs> so we got, a, I live in this neighborhood right here, and we got evacuated. Uh-huh. And stayed at the airport in a hangar. I didn't really have anywhere else to go, but. You must have seen the fires from up top, huh? You could, yeah, you could see it on the hill. I mean, it got, you could see where it got. All these hills were burned. Wow. It was close. <laughs> Shit. All right, so there's the Home Depot. Is this Walmart? Yep, that's Walmart there. Okay. Santa Rosa Tower, helicopter 781 Sierra Hotel, reporting Walmart. Helicopter 1 Sierra Hotel, landing at the uh, helicopter turn risk, wind calm. Helicopter around a risk, 1 Sierra Hotel. Cool. And we can actually, let's just follow that same path we took out, uh, we took off on. Okay, so if we turn right and start descending here. Do you just want to land uh, same way? Or? We'll go, we'll land opposite of 3-2, we'll land like 1-4 direction. Okay. So if you keep turning right, go over... 
I see what you're saying. I kind of go straight in this way. Yeah, yeah. Left turn. Okay, I see the big jet, which is probably the red line, huh? Yeah. We're a little fast. <laughs> it's so smooth, it doesn't even feel that fast. <laughs> I want to get to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> There's some days where we get some pretty gnarly mechanical turbulence out by the hills out here. So. We're in a pretty good spot. It's a pretty diverse training area. Yeah, this is a cool little area, man. Got the coast, which is five miles that way. Mountains that way. River. So we can get to some pretty high density altitude pretty quick. Look at around the fuel island here. Yeah, cool. We got this Cessna coming out on the taxiway, it looks like. Skywalk. Oh, yeah. So what you can do, normally we stay over the taxiway, but if there's like a plane coming down or whatever, you can yeah. offset to the grass. Helicopter 7 is to your hotel. That helicopter, that Cessna is going to hold down there at the edge of the shape for you. Roger. One to your hotel. Cool. Yeah, the tower is really cool with us. Alright. Power slowly. All right, ground effect, cool. Nice, man. All right. Yeah, I don't think you'll need a whole lot of training for your commercial. Yeah, just practice and confidence, you know? <laughs> yeah. Just, just have that feeling that when I go, I knock it out. But, yeah, yeah. today felt good, you know? I, I still got to dust off of Rados. I did some settling in the last month, which, you know, isn't too tough, right? Uh, which one? Yeah. Um, you can just park anywhere there. We'll okay. use the wheels and back it up to the fence. Okay. So I'll just the right pedal turn, and then you can face it literally wherever. Okay. I'm going to do a, put the tail back or just leave it here? Let's just go we'll face this way. Okay. So you can pull up like next to the spot. Okay, somebody's trying to get in or out. Let's the spot away. to the left here or, oh, I guess four here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah, then we'll just use the wheels and back it up. That'll like turn the tail close to that fence. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little tight. Better safe than sorry. All right, so just breathe it down. Yep. all the way down and then uh, roll it down to 75. Cool. Nice, there man. You Thank you. Yeah, it was a fun flight, man. Thanks for instruction and the good times. Yeah. All right, so friction. Oh, friction. Stand up, stretch her out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I don't think you'll need a whole lot of training for your, for your commercial. We'll do a Next time we'll do kind of uh, the rest of the maneuvers. Yeah. Quick stops, some hover autos. Selling a power if you want to. Yeah, the hover autos were the tough ones for me going into the private. And dude, like, you know, I, I just wasn't confident in them going into the private. And then my check ride, dude, I did like, I feel like uh, I went to a special place mentally, dude. And just like, <laughs> I, I could have landed on top of like a baby, you know, just <laughs> kept the baby asleep, I should say. <laughs> I don't know where that's it came funny. from. It was just like everything worked out. That's awesome. Did you, do they do it down there? Do you roll the throttle off or does the CFI examiner? Um, this guy rolled it off, or I'm sorry, I rolled it off. Okay. Um, you know, which is nice, right? Because I learned to be gentle with it. Yeah. It gives a more graceful uh, entry. That's how I always did it. Um, the examiner here rolls it off on you and you just have to react. Does he tell you? Uh, briefly. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, my private, he, what did he do? We did a few patterns, a steep approach. Um, we didn't do a slope landing. We didn't do settling. Um, he 
pulled the alternator on me. I found it right away, which was nice. Uh, we diverted. Uh, we did a run on. Um, we did a pinnacle. And uh, I think we did a few autos actually before we took off. Um, but he did another one. Uh, I should have known, man. He checked the weather. And, uh, you know, that should have been my sign. But then he said engine failure and rolled the throttle. Oh. And I did well, you know, I, I put it down, but I was like, you sneaky son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you got me on that one. Yeah. <laughs> and then from there, he was like, yeah, just take it in. Well, that's cool. Doesn't sound too terrible. Yeah. All right. So two minutes. Roll click. All right. 30 seconds. We'll pull mixture. Put car beat down. I don't think we'll need can turn uh, nav lights off, landing light off. Yeah, it's easy to forget how much fun this is, and then you don't fly <laughs> for a little bit, and then you go back up, and you're like, man, that's this why. Is I, awesome. That's why I do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thirty seconds, and uh, pull the brake. Aside from CFIs who've done, uh, when, you know, a lot of guys haven't done it recently, so yeah. uh, it'd be great to talk to somebody who's had a check that recently. Yeah, I'd be more than happy to talk to you. The DJ too. Um, then we do have another guy, Kevin, also a super cool dude. Um, going up for his commercial soon, so. In Turkey, I flew on the left side, man. That was. It was the second time, actually. My first flight, and then that flight uh, for the left side. It was, <laughs> I mean, it, you know, once you're in the air, it's cool, but man, like, you know, I brought it in for the approach and it was setting me down. <laughs> it was, it's different. Yeah, it messes with your mind, even though it's like just here to here. It's definitely Is it easy for you to switch seats? It must be, huh? Um, your experience no, it's, enough? It's easier to fly on the right side, for sure. Just All right. There's definitely a learning curve though on the on learning how to fly on the right side and with an arm up. Oh yeah. <laughs> so when every CFI has their different like, <laughs> some are like this, some are like this, you know. So everyone's got their like their waiting stance. 